Hey guys, this is Austin. Welcome to your 16th Roblox Lugui scripting tutorial. And today I'm going to show you guys how to use an interesting property, and it's called Size Constraint. <clears throat> so before I get into this, I have some announcements to make. Uh, so, first off, you guys know how I did a Halloween giveaway not too long ago. And uh, it's December 5th. Christmas is coming up, so I'm gonna do a Christmas giveaway, and I'm gonna, I might make a separate video to announce that, or, you know what, I'm just gonna do the same as last time, you guys message me on Roblox, just inbox me with the subject giveaway to enter, so yeah, that's how you enter, and I'm gonna have a drawing just like last time, so that's that, uh, Christmas giveaway, on Roblox I so I just received this group it's called scripters it is the first scripting group ever made on Roblox and it's the 26th group to ever be made on Roblox and you know cuz group ID equals 26 so uh, yeah I just I just received this group and I am I'm letting people join it and yeah I'm gonna rank you based on your skills I already ranked a couple people. It it has a small community already. So yeah, you guys can join that if you want. It's just something to do. Participate in a welcoming community. Yeah. Okay, so back to the video. So what is size constraint? Okay, so you see on every GUI element, the default size constraint is relative XY, and then you have relative XX, and you have relative YY. So, <clears throat> I just color coded these for no particular reason, but so this one called middle, we're going to leave that relative XY size constraint. And f okay, first, before I go forward, I want you guys to see what effect this has on uh, GUIs. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna resize my window. So all of these right now are relative XY. And you see how they all resize when I resize my screen. Or I could go to test probably and use one of these emulators up here to uh, emulate a different device screen. That's a really cool feature actually. So, uh, what this property does. <clears throat> so, if you have the size constraint set to relative XY, then your element is going to resize based on the X and Y uh, pixels of your player's screen. So, for example, if you, have, if you had it set to relative XX, Oh, and when you change the properties, you're going to have to resize them a little to fit. But uh, if you... I'm going to change this side to relative YY. Uh, and then... Look at this. You see, when I move it sideways, it has no effect on the size of it. But when I move it vertically, it does. So... I'm going to change the top to relative XX. Uh, yeah. I'm going to change that size to 0 0.05 scale. No, 0 0.3. That's still too big. Okay, 0 0.5. And then we're going to resize it sideways. And we're going to resize it this way. Vertically. <clears throat> so you see when I resize it vertically... It has no effect on the size of this. Uh, for something going... Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, I think for something going across the top of your screen, you'd have it relative XX. And for the side, relative YY, because you want it all to scale based off of the... Uh, 
we want something on the side to scale based off of the Y of their screen since vertic or horizontally like this it doesn't really matter it's not going to have that much of an effect on the size since it's so small on the X axis but it's bigger on the Y axis so you want it to resize based on the Y of their pixels and this middle one it resizes based off of both of those uh, pixels so uh, yeah you can see when I move it vertically it resizes I move it horizontally it resizes so um, this is obviously a trick to scaling your GUI elements uh, making them look well across all your devices I I think it was the second or first video I made in this series um, on scaling, sizing your GUIs. I, ta I told you guys to use scale, and while that may be true, it's also somewhat necessary to use size constraint if you want them to look extra good across all devices. Because sometimes scale doesn't get the job done. I probably sound really stupid saying that, but you know use size constraint guys it's worth it and just play around with it and you know you'll be able to use it in no time uh... if you have an element inside an element i'm just gonna copy and paste this it really doesn't matter if well say you have it relative xx uh, oops look at this you don't really want that undo I usually just keep all the elements inside an element relative XY so they'll scale the same way as their parent element so yeah I hope I explained that to you guys well enough if you have questions leave them in the comments below if you guys wanna join a cool scripting community then I'm gonna leave a group link of that group in the description so Thank you guys for watching. I'll hopefully see you again soon.